Hi everyone, Abby here. Welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. So today I'm gonna be comparing the Garmin Venue 2S to the new Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So today I'm gonna to be going over the main differences and similarities between both of these smartwatches. If you are looking for something a bit more in depth, I have done full reviews on both of these, which you can find in the top right or in the description below. And if you want to at any point jump to a certain part in the video, like battery life, for example, I have my timestamps in the description and kind of on the bottom of the video going along here. So I have the Garmin watch here in the color white rose gold. And I have the Samsung in the color Bora Purple Silver. So the first difference I'm gonna get into between both of these smartwatches is the price. So the current prices as of recording are for the Garmin Venue 2S here. It is currently at 519.99 Canadian and 399.99 American. While the Galaxy Watch 5 is currently at 349.99 Canadian and 279.99 American. Now, I will say that the Venue 2S here has been out for a longer period of time, so it is going on sale quite frequently, which is great. And with the Galaxy Watch 5, it is quite new, but I've actually seen a lot of promotions for it. Uh, depending on where you live, they do differ. So if you get either of these watches, you might be able to grab it at a great deal. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and listed on screen for you guys the major spec differences between both of these smartwatches that I have noticed. Now I'm gonna be going more into depth on a lot of these differences, but here are you know, the main ones for all of you guys out there who wanna take a screenshot or who just want to see all this information. So when it comes to the design between both of these smartwatches, they definitely do differ. So one thing to note would be the displays here. So they are different sizes. So this one is a 1.1 inch display. This is a 1.2 inch display. So here on the Garmin watch, you do have a bezel that goes all the way around kind of surrounding the watch here. And here we have a bezel-less design where there's nothing really on the watch face, but coming along the sides, we do have this metal area here. They both do have two buttons at the side. Coming over to the bottom, both heart rate sensors are slightly elevated. And the sensor on the Galaxy Watch is definitely a lot larger. And this one does have magnetic charging. This one, it has a charging kind of plug that we do stick in here. So the Samsung here has a 20 millimeter watch band where the Garmin has a 18 millimeter watch band. Just holding them kind of side by side, you can see a difference here in the size. And if I overlap them a bit, it might be a bit more noticeable to you guys. In fact, the Garmin does fit more wrist sizes because it does have more holes. All right guys, so this is what they look like on me. And I've gone ahead and put them on the same wrist just so you can get a real kind of feel for how they look side by side. So this one is, you know, 1.2 inch display, 1.1 inch display, but you really do notice there is a size difference when looking at them side by side. And you can also notice that difference in the band size. And here is the Garmin on Solo. And I do have a seven inch wrist, guys. And here's the Samsung watch on me Solo. Another thing um, about wearing these watches is I actually do prefer the band on the Garmin watch here. I like that it just has a traditional watch band here. Um, where here we have that kind of affinity band where you have to tuck a piece under. I just don't find it as comfortable personally. So which watch do you guys think looks better? Go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I do think that the Samsung watch does have a nicer looking display. Um, it just has, you know, a higher pixel count and the colors are just a little bit sharper and bolder, but they both have bright, punchy colors and I think they both look awesome. This display is also more reflective, so it's something that I notice a lot, especially outside. So when you are outside with this one, you do have to pump up the brightness so you can read it clearly. Whereas the Garmin here is less reflective. Um, they're both kind of reflective, but this one's less reflective in my opinion. And when it comes to reading them indoors, you can read them both indoors under, you know, most lighting conditions, even with dim brightness. 
All right guys, so both of these smartwatches do have a lot of similarities between them. And I've gone ahead and listed the most important ones that I found on screen for you guys. Things like touchscreen operation, color displays, built-in GPS, they can track a variety of activities and workouts. They have advanced sleep tracking, 24 hour heart monitoring, and much more as you could see on screen. So when it comes to the operating systems between both of these watches, honestly, I think both are really good. I do have to say I like the way that Garmin's set up better. There's a large variety of Samsung apps that you can use on here. I find the calculator pretty helpful at times. They're definitely different, and this one definitely feels more like a mini smartphone, where this one feels more like a smartwatch first. And here, you do not have those same app capabilities. There are a good amount of apps that you can download for Garmin, but it's not really meant for you to like play games on here. It's more for, you know, tracking your activities. That's first and foremost for this smartwatch. All right guys, so when it does come to sleep tracking, that's another difference. Now I will say off the bat that both of these are a bit off when it does come to sleep tracking, but they do a good job overall. And for the Garmin, we can see more information off the bat here. So we can see your sleep score, we can see um, sleep quality and then a little graph as well as a message saying good recovery. Here, this is what we see when we wake up and you do not get any more information until you connect it to your phone and your phone processes it and sends it back to your smartwatch. Whereas on the Garmin, it literally does everything in the watch. You don't even need your phone to use it. All right, so we can see a little graph now showing our sleep stages. We can see a sleep score as well. So when it comes to battery life between both of these watches, we're definitely seeing a big difference here. So the Galaxy watch here has a coded battery life up to 40 hours, and the Garmin watch here does have a coded battery life up to 10 days. With my actual usage though, I do get lower than the coded battery life. So with the Garmin here, I have gotten on average seven to eight days of battery life with this watch. Here, I do not get that same experience with the Samsung. With the Samsung watch, I have gotten 16 hours of battery life with this watch. I have had to charge this thing every single day. I cannot get it to last me a full day no matter what I do. And on days when I do GPS activities outdoor, like if I were to go cycling or go on a walk or run, the battery life drains even more so I can't even get that 16 hours. And I am not someone who is willing to charge my devices every single day. So if you are someone who is okay with that, then I definitely don't think you're gonna have an issue going with this watch. But if you're someone who does want longer battery life, then you definitely might wanna look into this one. And of course with battery life, you know, it's definitely is something that will vary by person because everyone uses their watches differently. All right guys, so when it comes to activity tracking, both of these smartwatches do a really good job and they can track a variety of workouts and activities. And I will say that some slight differences I've noticed is that with the Garmin watch, I have had better GPS accuracy and performance. It's been solid and reliable. With the Samsung, I have had a few droppage issues where the GPS would just randomly kind of cut out and come back after, you know, maybe a few moments or a few minutes. So that's been something that I want to let you guys know. But when it does come to tracking our metrics, like our steps, our heart rate, calories burned, they've both been pretty spot on in my experience and they are always like pretty similar within at least like two to three percent. Um, so yeah, I think both of them are very good at activity tracking. All right guys, so which smartwatch is best for you? Well, that depends on a few factors. If you are someone who wants more of a smartphone experience, like you basically want a mini smartphone on your wrist, you wanna be able to make calls, play with a couple apps, have voice assistant, then it's a no brainer. This one's definitely going to be a great option for you. But much like a smartwatch, the battery life is going to be poor and you're gonna to have to charge it every single day. So if you're someone who is okay with all of that and has the features you want, then I would definitely recommend the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 for you. However, if you are someone who wants more of a, you know, smartwatch first experience, you want a watch that's going to accurately track all of your activities, that has excellent battery life, that can also answer you know, text messages, although you, it's pre-made responses here, and you want a watch that's a little bit lighter weight, then I would definitely go ahead and check out the Venue 2S here. Now, when it comes to my preferences, I would definitely go for the Garmin Venue 2S. 
So a big reason for me is battery life. I am not someone who likes to nor will charge a smartwatch every single day. That just does not fit into my lifestyle. I like to be able to charge my watch and forget about it for a while and not have to worry about the battery life dying every single day. And I like that it's easy to start activities. I like that I can have all of my metrics right here and I don't really have to search for them through a bunch of apps. And personally, I always have my smartphone with me so I don't really need GPS calling or voice assistant, but I definitely understand why those features are helpful to a lot of people. So I do think both of these are great smartwatch options. And once again, if you do want more in-depth information on either of these smartwatches, I have my full reviews in the description below. Which watch do you think is better personally for the price, all the features you're getting, stuff like that? Go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now that's all I have for today. And if there's anything I missed that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.